Welcome to the show, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I'm your host, Jason Carter. A really special show for you guys today. And up first, for the past 24 years, our first guest has every day put on her uniform in service as part of the Miami-Dade Fire Department. Lieutenant Tina Geiler believes in being an example of excellence for and in the community, as well as championing women to follow their dreams. It's my pleasure to welcome the lieutenant herself to Inside South Florida. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. Thank you for your service. Thank you, thank you very much. Almost 25 years, yes. Miami-Dade Fire. What has it been like for you? Oh, it's been an amazing ride. Um, my department, Miami-Dade Fire, um, back then and now today, um, our chief is big on having firefighters look like the community they serve. Yes. So he really has, has, has done a great job with bringing in different people. Different walks of life. Yes, we're the leading, one of the leading departments in the country for female firefighters. But yet, only six percent of women are in the force. Yes. So my department has over 250 women. Um, you know, we all passed all the same tests as all the guys because we get asked that all the time. Um, but we did everything that the guys did to get in to get hired. And yeah, I mean, it's a great place to work. That. What do you love most about the job? Just helping people. Helping people. Saving people is obviously, and when we can save somebody and then you see them walking around later on in life, that is, that is great. You have such a benevolent heart because you are a breast cancer survivor. Yes. And it was in that, that journey in, in your life that you felt, let me help people, the Triple F Foundation. Yes. You want to help other people in service, be it firefighters, first responders, have a safe space to talk about PTSD because that's something that's not talked about in this business that you're in. Obviously, yes. of course, you mentioned saving lives. It's not like you just wake up one day and say, hey, I'm gonna risk my life to, to run into a burning home, which right. you do, and not come back from that a different person. PTSD is a big thing in, in the fire service because um, we see things most people never have to see in their lifetime. Sure. So yeah, it is a big issue in the fire service right now and it's, we're trying to get better at it and make sure everybody gets continual therapy to make sure that we keep our minds healthy, not only our bodies. And the resources for that, where do you pull from? There's all kinds of things. The state has stuff, our department has our own CISM uh, community, which I'm a part of. Um, I'm on the team and we actually go to the stations after a really bad call if they lose somebody and we go on and we help them. We, we talk to them, see if they wanna talk. But it's just something that they can use as a form of, you know, kind of, community yeah it's it's something for us to like get through the call so that we can go home with a clean you know head and not be really upset about well, it. what you do is yeah. superhuman and is, is, is not it's extraordinary it's, you are an extraordinary individual well thank you I appreciate that it's definitely a calling it's not something for everybody but it's certainly if you like to help people and you like adventure and you're you know, yeah. want to get out there and get dirty. This the, is a great job. Well, we have the dolls. We have the fierce female firefighter plush dolls. Now, these are also part of the foundation, and you created these because you wanted young girls to see themselves as well. Where can we pick up the dolls? Yeah, so um, I have a website. It's firefighterdolls.com. Um, pretty easy to remember. Yeah, you're great. Here's to thank you so much. Absolutely, congratulations on the dolls, the foundation, the community that's there with with you and and your team and what you guys do every day to make sure that, as you said, property and people and lives are safe. Yes. It's important. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me. Thank you very much.